quite a night. Still uh, just about alive. Torrential rain throughout the night. Ah, that's bright. Just keeping my kit company here. Hopefully get a few winks. It's raining quite heavily. Well, it's already windy. Let's see what today brings. Well, I've launched and uh, predictably I'm in a wind shadow behind these cliffs. The wind doesn't know what it's doing. Well, not a lot really. <laughs> um, I just need to sort of pump my way out a little bit and hope this five meter is the right choice. The wind's meant to be coming from the southwest and I've got my back to the north, which is quite strange. Well, I'm going this way. Lundy is over there. You can't see it quite yet, but it's over there in the haze. And then I was joined by a pirate ship. I don't know whether he's coming out to see how I'm getting on or, or what, really. The pirate ship was in fact La Malouine, a twin-masted French brigantine tall ship built in 1968 and was not in fact keeping me company across the 16 miles to Lundy Island as I hoped. I checked later on marinetraffic.com that it instead rounded Heartland Point and headed down the North Devon coast. That's Hartland Point up there and Black Church Rock. Black Church Rock is over there where Rory and I stopped off last year on our first London attempt. I'm actually going on a very, very close route, nearly close wall. I've got the uh, centreboard down, but the mast track back because I want the flexibility to be able to bear away when I get close to the island. And when I get out of the shelter of Heartland Point, I think I'm going to find something else in terms of sea stay. So I will take a view when I get there. That rain cloud does not look good behind me. I might have to sack it in because I won't be able to see London. Damn! Well, I'm putting a tack in. Look at the rain.
So I've managed to get my uh, coffee here from the hotel. The Red Lion, it's a very smart place. I would like to stay there another time. It's all quite uh, clandestine, this place. I think it's a, must be a private beach or something private and uh, a little bit special about it, let's say. They're, uh, they want to know who's here. So, yeah, I'm not kicking myself up too badly uh, with the lack of Lundy landing. It was good to give it another crack. I guess you just can't force these things. The main thing is just to make the right decision to call it off when you do. Um, I think in future I'll launch from Ilfracombe. It's about 20 miles to Lundy from Ilfracombe, but you don't have this problem of the wind shadow. Well, the views are stunning. I'm really enjoying this. So I'll finish with a couple of drone shots. I've got a new drone and enjoy. <laughs> 